Hello, good morning, welcome to Colin and Curtis in the morning east sides. Ooh. Colin's not with us today. Okay. He's he's at PAX. Oh, cool. Which, which PAX? PAX South. He's in the southern lands of the United States of America. Yep. Somewhere in Texas. Texas. Okay, cool. Cool. Good for him. So, uh, Eric, I, I just kind of grabbed you. I was like, hey, you want to, you, you you like, do this uh, morning show thing we do? Yeah, and my response was like, Curtis, I never have anything to do ever. So mm -hmm. a Friday morning would be totally up my alley to record a, a show about games on the PlayStation Network. Yes, let's do it. That's right. And we're actually recording very early in the morning, which is essentially the opposite of what we typically do. Yeah. So it's like a real morning show. It is. You could tell by the tone in our voices. Yeah. That's right. We're trying to like fake being awake yep. right now it's it's a fake awake story a fake, of my fake life awake. <laughs> that's right that sounds like <laughs> well, a good title and, for and, a game right oh fake awake fake that, awake yeah huh. well and, and no there's really no better thing to do when you're faking being awake eric than playing golf that's right most golfers will tell you that their entire career was spent faking being awake um so have you heard of dangerous golf briefly or, by name only yeah perhaps you've heard of golf dangereux <laughs> oh well that one obviously yeah oui oui c'est c'est le nom français pour le same <laughs> jeu <laughs> <laughs> is this how you spend your mornings you just speak french for like a couple hours uh i actually kind of do like i when i typically <laughs> do duolingo it's in the morning for like an hour but yeah and i did start using the microphone more recently more consistently so yeah, if if you if you're ever near my house and you hear someone speaking French by himself, it's me. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's not sad at all. It's very useful. Uh, someday I'll be localizing dangerous golf <laughs> for English audiences. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is a game from new developers, but not new developers. Um, Three Fields Entertainment. Mm -hmm. These are people from Criterion Games. Ubisoft and Disney. Criterion games you might know from what, Curtis? Burnout. Of course, all the burnouts. And didn't they did they do black? Or is that yeah, one of yes. the other companies? Maybe. That sounds right. Okay. I always got black and gun mixed up for some reason. Yep. Black is a first person shooter developed by Criterion Games and published by mm -hmm. EA. There you go. Okay. There you go. Um, did you ever, you never played Black, I imagine? I never did. I think I played Gun. Okay. I don't remember, like, Black, for what, I think they, I think both of those games came out at the same time. They could be totally different games. Sure. They probably are. I know I played one of them, and for whatever reason, I got both of them mixed up. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah. So but I played Burnout. Oh, yeah, I've played a ton of Burnout. Uh, especially Burnout Paradise. And Burnout Crash. Remember that? Oh, God. Yeah, I do. That's the, the pinball game, right? The pinball one with cars. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. giant enemy crabs. Yeah, that game was really good. And that it game. It was pretty good, yeah. It was an early one that uh, introduced the online leaderboards, like the dynamic leaderboards. Yes, yep. Where it was like, you're really close to Brad's score, but, which wasn't really true because Brad was a savant at that game. Mm hmm. Uh, but anyways, Dangerous Golf is a golf game, question mark, but it's really about blowing up different locales with a flaming golf ball. So, it's... I mean, what more, what more can you expect from ex-burnout people? Right, exactly. Uh, I'm actually pretty psyched about this. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the co-founders, Fiona Sperry, describes the game as a mix, mixing the attitude of burnout with the destruction of black whilst powering up a golf ball and setting it on fire. A clear... That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, it's a clear nod to NBA Jam is also what she said. <laughs> so it's like, great. Okay. That's, uh, why not? Uh, so instead of like going for par or birdie, you get points by causing damage. So the screenshots that they show on the the PlayStation blog have like a men's bathroom i can tell because there are urinals yep um or it could be unisex i guess 
a men's bathroom. Yeah, why is it? Why does it got to be a men's bathroom? Yeah, you know what? No one owns the bathroom. It's not God's bathroom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a men's bathroom, a restaurant, kitchen, and oh, whoa! I just saw so the logo. This isn't. You're not on a golf course. You're just destroying things with a flaming golf ball. Yeah, I don't think there's much golf in this game besides for the, <laughs> the flaming golf ball. Uh, oh, also, you're in a china shop for one of those. Oh, or, sure. or a wine store. I can't tell which one. A lot of, there's a lot of glass. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're they're pushing the UE4 engine here. Yeah. I, I, I would imagine that dangerous golfing is is something that really uh, really drives home the power of UE4. Yeah, yeah. And and it's also going to change that phrase. It's going to be, you know, oh man, he's so crazy. He's like a golfer in a china shop. <laughs> well, the the age old <laughs> phrase, golfer in a china saying. shop, it really brings a whole new definition we, to it. We finally have something to change an age old other thing. That's right. You know, and that's what life's did all they, about. <laughs> did they say is this coming out this year, or did they say anything specific about that? Yeah, I think it's this year. Okay. Well, 2016 just continues to be stacked with everything. Yeah, it's, including uh, golf games. Really, that golf games. Do you have, do you like any golf games? Hot Shots Golf. Okay, I also like Hot Shots Golf. Oh, it's coming yeah. out uh in May. Sorry. Oh, well there you go. So that's around the corner. I look forward to blowing up china shops and our wine shops with golf balls. Sure, sure. Yep. Yeah, Hot Shots is good. John Daly's Pro golf i think the move game that i reviewed was actually pretty good okay uh, yeah yeah cool okay cool. well let's uh let's keep on moving because we got two uh lots of news this week but i think we settled on three uh, major things the second one we're breaking tradition eric okay colin's gone and we're already just messing with the show in every way possible good typically the end of the month our main topic is the playstation plus lineup mm-hmm because that gets announced the last week, so we talk about each of the games in the lineup. We're gonna we're gonna do that right now, but we have a different main topic this week. Sure. But we'll get to that in a, in a few minutes. So PlayStation Plus for February 2016 got announced this week, Eric. Yep. It's uh, six games as per usual. Let's start up at the top. Grid Autosport. This is a PlayStation 3 game. Never Any played it. On this? I've never Me played it. Do you play any of the Grid games? I played zero of the Grid games. Okay. Have well, you? Uh, I played the demo for the first Grid and then a bit of the full game. Probably a few hours of the full game. Oh, loved really? It. Yeah, loved it. Wow. Um, you know, uh, you know, are you familiar with the phrase emergent gameplay? Mm, yes. It's it's that when crap blows up while you're playing. Or like things, or happen things happen while you're playing randomly that you can't plan for. So oh Grid, yes, oh my, yes. My, my okay. memory of Grid. Is this a this Disney is like, game? No, no. It's a split second. Was the Disney one? Oh, but it's similar, right? Grid is Codemasters, I believe. Yes, it is. Uh, so my memory of Grid is in the demo. There was a there was a track where you were part of the track. You were going downhill. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I remember about this game, other than I thought it played pretty well, is that I was I was doing it. I was playing through a race once, and this car slammed up against me. I went slamming against the wall, flew in midair, and then did like a couple barrel rolls, and then landed uh, right side up and continued the race and ended up winning it. Wow! And I just thought that was so cool uh -huh. <laughs> at the time. That is all I have to say about Grid Auto Sport. Okay. So it's not like a, a driving sim. No, it's. I think it was more arcadey. Arcadey. But if it, I remember correctly. It sure looks like a driving sim if you look up videos of it. Yeah. It's like that. That's what they're selling oh, right now. Maybe this. Maybe this one is. I don't know. Okay. Damn. Oh, you got me real excited. I thought it was split second. Oh no. Oh, split second's so good though. Split second's the one with the power ups, right? Where you can blow up the track yes as you're playing yep oh okay uh oh, black rock yeah. i mean they're okay. closed down now okay i i guess i'm more excited for grid after hearing you talk about the barrel rolls but well that's the first grid i don't know anything about this one okay 
it could have been all downhill from there. Okay, yeah, so this one... Both literally and... That's funny. Well, anyways. Kari, so, Helldivers. Yeah. Helldivers, yeah. Uh, I own this. Did you... Did you ever pick this up? I never bought it, which I uh, I found was a sentiment shared by a few of my classmates. Yeah. They are just like, yeah, uh, you know, I always wanted to play it. I, I never bought it. So, yep. now that's pretty cool. Uh, Chris and I bought it when it came out. We played it... A- Maybe a couple hours and just kind of fell off because no one else had it. Okay. No so, one else is in us or? No one else is in us, yeah. Okay, okay. So, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this could be a a spark in, in the life of Helldivers. Maybe we get back into this. I try to, at least. I mean, I played it, I think, PAX Prime, maybe PAX East, mm-hmm. whatever it was. I played it a couple of years ago and really liked it. Yeah. I just... You know, you, you need a group of people. Yeah, I I felt like that was necessary, and I knew that unless we all went in at the same time, it was gonna peter out. So, mm-hmm. okay, well, Helldivers is. You we know, should give it a shot, if nothing else. Twin stick, friendly fire, uh, fighting uh, game. It's from the Magicka people. Oh my god! Or at least a portion of them. So. They did uh, a lot input, of work, Input huh? Input combinations and input stuff. Input combinations. That's what I meant yep. by fighting game mechanics. Yeah. Up, right, right, left, up, up, uh, X or something. I don't know. Yeah, you like, you'll input commands to call in like airstrikes and whatnot. That's it's cool. It's a cool game. Yeah. Yeah. So, friendly fire, like you said. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad for other people. It seemed like that was the one that was a lot of people were like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm interested in that. Yeah, and I'll uh, even check it out on the Vita if it's not. Yeah. If it doesn't take up my entire memory card. <laughs> right. Uh, so li- well, speaking of Vita, uh, Lemmings Touch. Uh huh. You ever ever a Lemmings person? Once or twice. I know what Lemmings is, and I've played it on a computer, but that's about okay. as far as my Lemmings go. Yeah, mine is. I think I played a demo for like a PS3 Lemmings early in the PlayStation 3 life cycle. Yeah. That's about it, though. Yeah, not excited about this. Okay. I, I really don't care. Uh, well, the next one we did both we get have. a demo for this on the Vita a long time ago or no? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I might be eating my words by saying that I don't care about this game. Lemmings. Yeah, because maybe yeah, I, maybe I, don't... I actually like it. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna download it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh well we both own Nom Nom Galaxy. Yes, we do. Uh I think you you like it. Yes. I, I was do. kinda like average on it. Mm-hmm. But it's a it's a cool game. If you don't have it, you should definitely check it out. Yeah. Hopefully the netcode is better. Hopefully the netcode is better indeed. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. very good. Alright. How do you feel about Nova one eleven? I'm stoked. <laughs> uh this is probably cross by, right? As far as I remember, you it would is. think they I, only listed the Vita version. I hope it is because I would like to play it on PS4. Yeah, I, I mean, I got the PS4 code and I have it on my yeah. Vita. So yeah, 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 good. I mean, if you listen to the PSN Source podcast or read our website or look at our YouTube channel, you know that we recently had Game of the Year stuff, like every other site, and um, mm-hmm. Nova One Eleven was there. And it got snubbed multiple times. It got snubbed most, multiple times, but it made it into the, the big category. In, in the top five, yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this as someone who's not played it. Yeah. And is interested in if whether or not we made a major mistake. Well, okay, so would the major mistake be that we put it in our top five? Well, it could be either way. Or That's would the, the major mystery. mistake be that it didn't beat Life is Strange? I mean, that could be it. <laughs> Okay, so, so you're open to it. You're not. You're not I'm, going into. It, yeah, but... I'm excited. No, I'm excited to play it. Okay, cool. I've heard good things. Yeah, let let me know because <laughs> Brad unabashedly says that he didn't. He he didn't get into. Yeah, it, which is fine. That's right. You know, mm-hmm. different strokes, but I want to find someone else who who also um, appreciates this game. Yeah, I can appreciate quality. Yeah, so I'm so yep. I'm glad it's it's free on Plus. And I and I would say even though I haven't played it, I feel like if you look at this lineup and you kind of like are thinking, oh man, plus 
what happened to you i would say you should maybe check out nova 111 on like your word because that was your favorite game of last year right yeah or one of i think so i, I can't think of another game off the top of my head mm -hmm. so we have it on good authority that that's a high quality game yeah yeah uh, and the last one is Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. This is a PlayStation 3 game. What is this? A fighting game? A uh, fighting game based around Persona 4 characters. Okay. Great. Persona 4 is a great game, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a PS3 anymore, so is this doesn't an mean a lot to me. Game? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not? No, that was a serious I mean, question. Maybe, maybe it's... I, I'm sure it's been at fighting game tournaments. Okay. I think that I think the Persona 4 Arena games have been well liked. Yeah, that's what I think what there's I been thought. two of them. Yeah, I think I think people like them. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I, I'm I get this. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I've heard people say positive things about that game. So. Okay. Yeah, it's been at Evo. Okay. Well, there you go. Yep. There's here's your stamp of esports right there. Is it in the Evo. So it's just a fighting game? Yeah, there was a crazy story mode like that dancing game had last year. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I I know nothing. I know very little about it. Okay. Um I think it's Arc System Works. Oh, yeah. It did, certainly like... looks like it. But yeah. I'm watching a video right now. Yeah, yep. they they know how to do fighting animation. They can they can make good fighting games. Holy crap. Yeah, they yeah. can. So that's the plus lineup. Um, I mean, I mean, I think again we always run into the issues where we typically own some of these games already. Yeah. Or we've or, or we've reviewed them in the past, like decent lineup, I guess. I think so. I mean, Nova One Eleven is like the thing for me. That's the standout uh, of what I'm most excited to check out. Yeah, I mean, Hell Divers is top of my list for this list. Um, yeah. Nova 111 I've already played through a few times. And Nom Nom Galaxy is actually rising a little bit because I, I have a couple of friends who liked it when they came over and played it split screen but yeah. wanted to play it online. So I may okay. boot up Nom Nom Galaxy again. We'll, yeah. we'll see. So overall fine. I don't I don't really care about Grid or Persona, Persona 4, but... Mm -hmm. That's you know. I also haven't played a game on my PS3. You have a. a I, I was thinking about this recently. How long do you think it'll take before PS3 games drop off this list? Oh, another year. I don't think they ever will. They ever? I don't know. I it was something that crossed my mind. And if they do, will they be replaced by more PS4 games? I have a I, feeling I, I Vita don't know. games I would mean, fall off before PS4 games. Ooh, but also, before PS3? Yeah, yeah, before PS3. Mm. But also, Vita has the benefit of most of their offerings being cross-buy. Yes. So, I don't know. That's that's a tough question. Yeah. I don't, I, want, it was I don't something want to live in a world my... where there's no free PS3 games monthly. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I mean, because obviously PS3 is in a spot where you can just, you can do these retail games. Yeah. Like Grid Autosport and, and Persona 4, because it's like, yeah, it, it's an older system. Those games have been out for a few years. Mm -hmm. it, it was just something that crossed my mind. Like, if we'll, like, it doesn't seem like an if, like, it's more of a win. Is it like three years from now? Is it two? Right. Um, And like, what does PS Plus look like at that point? It was just something that crossed my mind. And I don't, I don't really know. I don't have a guess. Uh. But I'm interested to see where it goes from here. Mm -hmm. That said, let's move on to the last thing to talk about today. Uh, so this week, uh, Insomniac announced a new game. They sure Insomniac did. Insomniac Games. Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> Song of the Deep. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank, Song of the Deep. Mm -hmm. So what kind of Ratchet game is this? A lot of pickups, a lot it's of It's very different. It's a very, very different Ratchet game. <laughs> okay, but it's... <laughs> So, I mean, so at this least is it's a third-person game, right? Where you run around no, and do stuff like every no, other one of the Insomniac two D, two D side scrolling. Uh, it's two dimensions only. It's a Metroidvania. It's a Metroidvania. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you mean? You have to pick up a lot of bolts and buy power ups, and then go back to the beginning of the map. You're exploring the underwater, the undersea world. Whoa. 
You, you play as a girl named Mar- Marin. Okay. I think she's like searching for someone. Her I'm father. Not Maybe that sounds right. It seems like either her father or what killed her father. Yeah. Um. So that is a uh, that's coming out like in summer. It's a fifteen dollar game mm-hmm. coming on PS4 and other platforms. Uh, but there's something specifically about. Uh, also, I'm. I mean, with PAX being this weekend, I guess Insomnia is having a party. Like, apparent, I would expect more information to come out throughout the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I think Colin is actually going to see this game. Okay. I don't know if he'll play it or not, but I, I, from what he was telling me, and I'm not sure if I even should should say this. I'm pretty sure he's going to see that game. Yeah, that's fine. What? So he'll he'll have stuff to say about it. Um, as well next week. Yeah. Uh, but there was something about this this news eric that i wanted to talk about go ahead hit me um uh do you want to guess who the publisher is oh it's not a guess <laughs> it's not, not a guess because we because i told you earlier sure so gamestop like the retail store is publishing this game yeah G- gamestop the the brick and mortar <laughs> That sells games, used mm-hmm. games mostly, and used games. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, that's the thing so, that's happening. I think this is fascinating because, I mean, obviously, like you know, GameStop in recent years, with digital becoming more and more prevalent, it's kind of like that's the store that's like we. I oftentimes hear people refer to it as like, oh, is it going to be like Blockbuster? Where like slowly GameStop is just gonna kind of fade away as digital becomes more and more important. Yeah. Are there still enough people who care about physical copies? Yes, is the short answer um, to that question. Yeah, my my whole reasoning for wanting to talk about this because I had heard other people bring up a another comparison about what is happening right now mm-hmm. with this publishing deal that I thought was fascinating and is fun to think about. Do you th- so like think about when Netflix started creating their own TV shows? Yeah. And now we're at it and that was a few years ago and now we're at a point where at least to me my some of my favorite shows or almost all of my favorite shows that I watch the the handful of them that there are are all Netflix original shows. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. cuz I remember what was their first batch? House of, was House of Cards in their first batch? I think batch? House of Cards was a little after. Okay. There was like a couple that was like the original ones that I think there was. I know. I don't remember the, their names. The Arrested but... Development deal was mm-hmm. big. Yeah, that was. I mean, House Cards I think was early. Arrested Development. Um. Oh, there was one other big one. I'm forgetting. Uh, but now we've got like you know we've got the Marvel stuff Sense with Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Netflix, Master yep. of None. Um, Making a Murderer is uh prevalent right now. Yeah. Is 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 Black Mirror Netflix only? I don't think so. Okay, it's just it, a... it might be. Okay, anyways. But it, but the the point being was, and the point I had heard brought up from from other people is that this is clearly not a one time deal for GameStop. Right? Yeah, that that is interesting. Like it seems likely that they actually might be getting into publishing smaller games like this, and having limited retail runs that are just going to be in their store i mean from a business perspective that seems like a good idea right you want to diversify sure. your income yeah so why why wouldn't they go into this you want to stay relevant yeah if if they're they probably aren't seeing market marked decrease in uh purchases in their brick and mortar stores yeah. but it's only a matter of time right like right our generation i think the the 20 something year olds and 30 something year olds are like we game enough and we're busy enough that going to a store to buy a physical disc is less and less of a convenience and more and more of mm-hmm. an inconvenience yep. versus pressing a button using our virtual money to get a virtual version that's installable anywhere so yeah. like it it's it's only a matter of time, and and the the newer generations only go to GameStop because they're not they don't have their own credit cards. Sure. Is, yeah. Is my you know there there's probably other reasons, but like 
if you were a kid and you couldn't drive, wouldn't you just buy games digitally? Yeah. I mean, if you had the card and everything available, it'd be it'd be so much easier. Yeah. I mean, it, it is so much easier. So, kids, if you're out there listening, <laughs> trick your parents into giving, into giving, giving you, you their, their card. credit card. <laughs> Tell them that you're only going to use it once. And guess what? It saves the credit card information. Just use it all the time. Yeah, your parents yeah, just will never every, notice. Just... <laughs> It will just you know don't you don't have to tell them or anything. Yeah, don't tell them that you heard it from the PSN Stores <laughs> podcast. Definitely Colin not in that. The morning. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, Colin. Colin endorses you doing this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a, he was the one who said it. Really, I was being like I was like I don't know, man. That doesn't sound right, but he insisted. So yeah, it was it was almost weird how much he wanted people to do that. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so yes, GameStop will cease to exist as a brick and mortar store in maybe five years, ten years. Oh, that's soon. Maybe. I just I just wonder how this this publishing deal goes and what future publishing deals they might have. Uh like in just in the waiting ring wing, just waiting to go. Yeah. Um I wonder if it'll always be like kind of smaller games or like I I mean obviously I don't think we'll ever know. I would love to know what this deal entails. Uh huh. You know, like yeah, me too. I I would it, like the the paperwork. You know, the nuts. It, it the sounds. Nuts and it bolts. sounds like the nuts and bolts. That's right. <laughs> uh, it sounds like GameStop went to Insomniac. You think so? Yeah. Well, apparently that is what was said. Okay. So you got you they got went, some intel. They went to them. And then Insomniac was kind of showing them some stuff they had in the works. And then a deal was made. Okay. I just find it fascinating that GameStop is pursuing publishing games. Yeah, and I mean, you got to think, if they're diversifying to avoid, uh, you know, losing money in a retail market, then they're yeah. probably going to be backing the smaller games, right? Yeah. I mean, and all, nah, and it, I mean if you... It could games, too. Yeah, like, I, I think the floor is open for anything really just to kind of see how it goes and what because i i also i'm sure there's a stipulation in that deal that's like okay if someone like traded in your this game yeah which i also find hilarious because it's like you, when you trade in a game it's not like you're going to the publisher to trade it back in oh whereas yeah. in this case you were literally walking to the publisher's store <laughs> yeah that's interesting um and typically like you know the developer wouldn't get a cut of that but I wonder if maybe in this case they would, because I don't know. GameStop is the publisher. Yeah. Hmm. That that's a, that is an interesting facet of this. Yeah, and I mean, if you if we want to make the Netflix blockbuster compa- comparison, Blockbuster never really made a move, or they like tried to, but they never really went full force into trying to stay relevant. W- what they with stay- the red box sort of things? Well, they they had like there was a, yeah they had that stuff, but they had like. I think they had like an online service or something at one point, but but for the most part, Blockbuster was like, oh yeah, Netflix, like that's never gonna take off. Uh huh. People don't people don't want to do that, or like they still want to go to this to our Blockbuster and and get the the DVD or Blu-ray that way. Yep. And obviously that proved wrong. Yep. So I just think it's interesting that in this case now it's like okay, say what you will about GameStop, but. Maybe they are actually prepared to make moves and and try different things. Yeah, yeah, to, good to for stay them. relevant. So, very interesting. Uh, Song of the Deep looks cool. It does look pretty cool. Yeah. And you know what though? What's interesting hmm. is that like, there aren't many uh, of these digital games, the fifteen dollar range games that are sold at retail. Like some of them yeah. get retail releases. I think Tesla Grad. Well, there's one. a. There was the company like First Print Games. Oh yeah, I believe. Yeah, they're doing a lot of that stuff. Like a lot of the indie games that are giving that are getting those limited limited run. There I you think. go. Yeah, uh, a lot of the games that are getting those retail releases are through them. Okay, I believe. So, my thought is like, if you put this fifteen dollar game that's new next to a bunch of sixty dollar games, mm-hmm. they may actually sell in retail. At first, I yeah. thought it was a stupid idea. I was like, "No, but I'll just buy it online because it's like sure. two, two gigabytes or less." And also, Insomniac's a name that like 
Insomniac, I imagine, has pretty loyal fans. Oh yeah, yeah. At this point, and so I think you you'll have that group of fans who want the retail copy. Yes. Yeah. And so they will specifically go out to get that. And, and then, while and then they're I'm sure that, game... they'll get used versions yes. of every yes. Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm sure GameStop is banking on, like, well, now you're in our store. And maybe that's a maybe that's it. Like, maybe they're like wanting to publish these games to get people in their store, and like maybe that's one facet of it. I don't know. Um, Do you think it's gonna I'd... be? It's is it same day release in store and out? So I think. Oh, I don't have it in front of me. I want to say that the retail is maybe a little later. Oh, weird. Maybe I could. That could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Um. But you would think that they would want it same day. Yeah, right? at least, if not the retail version first. Yeah. Right? To get that loyal fan base. Yeah, I mean, I would I would think so. Hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, it's really crazy story. Yeah, it is. But super interesting. And I don't know, like, I like Insomniac games. Yeah, me too. Did so... you ever play Sunset Overdrive? No, I've always wanted to. Yeah, me too. But I don't, you know. You know, that's, <laughs> I don't think either of us own and own that console. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Maybe one day. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I think that's gonna do it, Eric. Thank you for joining me. Hey, anytime. And and filling in the role of Colin. Yeah, that's me. Yep. The Colin well, Standen. Are we wait? Colin do we Standen. talk about like all the stuff that we posted on the? Yeah. Channels? So go ahead. Uh, as we wrap up, Eric. As I'm sure you you're aware, we're doing a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. Oh, I am aware. Yes. Yeah. Um. So we have gameplay glimpses, video reviews. The Dark Cloud playthrough is wrapping up very very soon. Mm-hmm. Only a couple episodes of that left to go. Okay. Um. This show, in video form, you can let you can watch. Okay. Uh, but you should check that out on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash PSN stores. Yeah, that'll get you there. Yeah, you should subscribe to that. If you like the stuff we're doing, I mean, if you don't like it, then obviously don't. But hopefully you do. Mm-hmm. And give us feedback and let us know what you think. Um, also, we do podcasts each week, or we try to every week. Yeah. We do our best. Um, you can consider this a podcast. There's also the PSN stores podcast, mm-hmm. which features the full crew. All of the podcasts they assemble. All of the podcasts, all four of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and those are usually on Tuesday, so check those out. Again, let us know what you think. Uh, you can follow us at PSN Stores on Twitter. Yep. You are E E E. Three E's A S E. That's right. Yeah, I'm E's on the E's the Twitter and the PlayStation Network. Yep, and I am at PSP Anguin on Twitter. PSP Anguin, nice. That's right. Uh, you can send a question to podcast at psnstores.com. If you want it to be answered on the morning show, just let us know. Or otherwise, we'll just answer it on the other podcast. Yeah. But, oh, and also, if you like what we do and would like to support us, that doesn't include subscribing to our YouTube channel and watching those videos, you can go to patreon.com slash psnstores mm-hmm. if you feel, uh, if you're willing I guess. Is that the right way to... Willing Anyways. or able. <laughs> Willing or able. That's right. Yeah. Uh, with that said, that's going to do it. Uh, Eric, you have a great weekend. I think you've got a, a pretty exciting weekend ahead. Yeah, I do. I have um, a Global Game Jam's about to kick off in a matter of hours, so I'm going to go set it up at LIU Post and maybe make a game this weekend or maybe just keep everyone organized in their game making. One of the two. Yeah. So if you see uh, that I've become internet famous because I made an interesting experimental twine game, then, uh, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, it's it's, it's no big deal. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Well, uh, that's going to do it for Colin and Curtis in the morning East Side edition. Mm -hmm. Have a good weekend. You too. Two. 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 Two.